Well, good morning, my little chicken nuggets. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Well, you made it all the way to Friday after a well-deserved day off on Monday. And uh, so you made it through another week and one week closer to the end of the school year. It's been a crazy week, hasn't it? You think about it, we've had some people had to go home, had some people had to stay home. And, you know, we've had a regular or regular things as well during this week. But it's only been a four-day week, so that's kind of nice, isn't it? Well, my little jelly beans, uh, I had intended on getting you a video last week. But then things happened. It got in the way. And things that were uh, not supposed to happen, happened. And my time got taken away, and I couldn't make you a video. And it made me so sad because... My little chicken nuggets, I miss making you a video last week. So I'm making you one today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly tonight so I can upload it so you can see it, so you can watch it uh, in your classes tomorrow. But anyway, thinking about that, so last week I was a little bit frustrated with not being able to get the video done. But, you know, God makes all things work together for good, so we just got to trust in his plan. But it made me think about the way that God... Uh, the way that God designed and created certain things in life. So a few weeks ago, uh, my oldest son, Lincoln, he sent me uh, a video I'm about to show you. And and uh, and so I want you to watch this video and I want you to try to figure out what this video is showing, okay? So you, you look at it, you watch it, and you see if you can figure out what it is he was sending me, okay? So watch this video and we'll be right back. All right, so if you you watched it, so what did you think? What did you think he was sending me a video for? What was he trying to show me? What was in the video? Yep, trees, uh, water, uh, grass. So why would that be of interest to me? Some of you may have gotten it. There's a certain, I guess, um, talent that a animal that God created is showing off in that video. There's a certain talent and ability that is uh, demonstrated in that video. Do y'all know what it was? Do y'all know what animal it was? How many of y'all think it was a beaver? Anybody want to say it's a beaver? That's correct. It was a beaver. So Lincoln sent me that, that video to say, hey, look, we have a, a beaver dam on our property. And so... Uh, so on our property, you know, we were driving on the highways. We were about to pull in the gate, and we noticed all this water that was on close to the road. It was like, where's all this coming from? Because it hadn't rained that much. So Lincoln goes down there, and he finds the beaver dam. And all this water is backed up all into the trees, all up on our roads, and, and everywhere on our property. Now, you know, when, I, when he first sent me that, I was upset. I was thinking, oh, my goodness, a beaver has... Uh, created a flood on our property. And uh, so we can't take the four wheelers down certain roads and we can't go to certain places because the water's so deep. But then I was like, why am I mad at the beaver? What, what did the beaver do? He built a what? He built a dam. That's right. Why do beavers build dams? Yeah, I don't know either. But I do know that God created them with the ability to build dams. In fact, in this picture right here, uh, you can see where the beaver actually cut down a tree uh, as part of the dam. And so that's what beavers do. They build dams, okay? And then uh, God created them to do that. Now, it's inconvenient for us because it floods the property or, or backs up a stream or whatever, but, but that's what God designed them to do. And so God designed us all to do different things. So a beaver builds dams. Well, we as human beings, what are we here for? Well, ultimately, we're here to serve God and to praise him and to tell the people about him. But even within that whole mission of I'm here to serve God, there's different things that we're designed to, to do. Like, for instance, our peer helpers in our secondary school that I do a video for the peer helper conference recently. And so here's that video. Enjoy this. But every time she asks me, do I look okay? I say, when I see your face, there's not a thing that I... All right, 
right. So you see God gave them, they, they created this video and they were different, doing different things in it or whatever. God made all those people different, but were able to work together to make that video for the peer helpers. Uh, in science class the other day in the secondary school, they were doing something weird with slime and magnets. I don't know. I'm not a science teacher. I don't know about slime and I don't know about magnets, but this video is pretty cool. So watch this. Yes, so that so that slime like the magnet they put it in the in the slime and the slime like overtakes the magnet and there's some chemical reaction there god created that so god created all those chemicals to react to each other and react to that magnet then we got people who could do this right here So, and this right here. Those are two separate clips that look the same. But, you know, Peyton, God created her where she can hit a three and make a shot in a game. It took a lot of practice, I'm sure, to get to that point. But God created her to be able to shoot a three-pointer and, and, and to make it during a game. And then you got some people that can do things like this. So Tay and Maddox, you know, they were over there showing their dancing skills at the basketball game. God gave them the ability to learn how to dance and, and, and to do those things. But God didn't make us all equal. You know, I can't dance like that. Uh, I, I can't hit a three either, to be honest with you. I can't even build a beaver dam. And here's a picture of my dog and what God created her to do. So as you can see, Dixie is lazy. So Dixie likes to take naps. So that's what God created her to do. But we, we as God's creation, are, in, are not only have a mission of taking God's word into the world and being light into the world, but God also, as it says in the Old Testament, gave us dominion over God's creation. So here's the way I like to enjoy creation right here. That that view in that video is my most favorite place in the world to be. Because it's in the woods on this bluff in a spot that I like to go sit. God created that spot, and I try to never forget that. And as a place I, I, uh, I, I uh, take time to pray to God and read his word and thank him for all the things he's done for us. But God created you in the same way to be equally beautiful, even more beautiful than that spot that I sit. God created you for a great purpose. Even if you can't build a dam like a beaver, or even if you, you know, aren't so cute like my dog and take a nap on a recliner, or if you can't dance like Tay or Maddox, or if you can't hit a shot like Peyton, God created you for a purpose and in a beautiful, beautiful way. So I'm going to encourage you today to trust like what uh, God tells us in 1 Corinthians 12, that that, you know, he appointed us in different places with different talents within the church so we can do things for him. And I want you to remember that, that God created you to be beautiful. And God created you for a purpose. And God cre created you uh, in a way to make this world a special place. All right, my little chicken nuggets, let's pray before we go. Father, we thank you so much for this day and all the ways you bless us. And thank you, Father, for giving us uh, your word. and Thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity to come to school every day and help us to be lights to other people. Help us to uh, shine our lights towards you and help us to be a good influence on this world every day. And remember that you gave us a purpose and you created us for a reason. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my little jelly beans. Hope you all have a great week weekend. Uh, we got the end of our basketball season is next week. And uh, they got a, we got a couple of games next week. Um, but I'm going to leave you with this wonderful shot made uh, by our very own Peyton Rody. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.